Hey everyone, it's Mark here from Primal Wrestling, and this is... Good old Jim Hughes. Oh, simple, simplistic today. Simple, simple. <laughs> and, In homage to JR, that one was. Yeah. yeah. And in this video, we're going to be uh, doing our WrestleMania 33 predictions for the Tag Team Raw match, which is L Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson versus Enzo Moro and Big Cass versus Cesaro and Sheamus. Jamie, take it away. Um... This is sort of a head and a heart situation um, because my heart wants Cesaro and Sheamus because I think they've been so great as a tag team. Um, they are great singles competitors, but I think if they lose here, they don't have any sort of direction and they don't have any sort of logical reason to stay together as a tag team. So I'd like to see them win just so we can keep this dynamic together a little bit longer. Um, but... My head is saying I think this is Enzo and Cass's is crown as uh, uh, Enzo and Cass's crowning moment, should I say? I think um, I, I think I'm leaning definitely towards Enzo and Cass. I think they they're, they're going to win here. Okay, cool. Yeah, boringly, I think the same again. I think um, it's going to be kind of I think that it's probably going to be one of the first matches on, and I think yeah. it's going to be kind of like a just happy moment to get people into WrestleMania and cheering yeah. and stuff and that because obviously. Enzo and Cass can work the crowd really well. Really well. Um, yeah, again, like like you say, it's, I, I really like Cesar and Sheamus as a tag team. I love their dynamic uh, as two of them. Um, they have had the belts, obviously. I don't think it was that long, was it? It was literally... It was like two weeks. It, yeah. it did, like, the more I look back, they were just transitional champions. Obviously, they yeah. just wanted to get it, off, get it off the new day and they didn't want to give it to the club straight away. So, yeah, Which and, is kind of a shame. And purely from a heart point of view... I'd love to see how mental Enzo goes when he wins. <laughs> like, just like his eyes bulging and dancing around the ring, and and he may but, explode. He may explode. <laughs> but then, in, in contrast, Cass will probably just stand there, like still. slapping his thigh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I think because now we've got the Usos on SmackDown as champions. Yeah. So I think it's nice to have a. The disparity yeah. between face and heel um, on the two brands. So definitely, and I just want to back up again. I agree with and back up your point. I think they will go on first because, uh, as I said, it is a really heel. It looks at this moment in time like it's going to be a real heel heavy victory card at this moment. So I think having um, Enzo and Cass win in the first match will lift everyone and kind of yeah. lift their spirits going into it. It's not going to be like. You know, you're not going to have a heel win straight away. So hopefully, um, Enzo and Cass win, and we get a nice little little victory dance from Enzo and a victory thigh slap from Cass. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think um, the only kind of bit to that is, and we've spoken about it before, is obviously in NXT, Enzo and Cass, mm -hmm. they were always chasing the championship and never won it. So I don't know if they want to replicate that in, on the main roster or if they do want to give them their moment. I think WWE seem quite keen on them and are really pushing them as you know, a face tag team and that. Um, so I think they will give it to them. But yeah. yeah, it's not, I say it's not the end of the world if they don't, because I think they're that charismatic. They don't need titles to legitimize themselves. I don't think so. No, no. But yeah, I, just, yeah, sorry. No, I was just going to say, I just always wonder how they would work on their own um, in, in singles. I just, I think um, they're so good as a tag team. It, yeah. I don't know if it would work or not really. No, I think I think Cass would get the better push. I yeah. think Enzo, Enzo would be US champion at best. He'd get like a couple of runs with that, and I think Enzo uh, Cass would probably go for the Universal title a few times. And I shudder, probably... I shudder, I shudder at the thought that they would turn Enzo into a, the Raw's version of James Ellsworth. <laughs> <laughs> who could, who could he? Who could he valet for? Who would be um... like him? And, I tell you what. I've just thought of it, and I was going to say it cynically. Him and Nia Jax would be. <laughs> yeah. It would. It would almost be like it'd be a bit like Eddie Guerrero in China. Yeah. yeah like definitely. when they did it, it would. Jo, I want to see it now. Yeah, I do. Break them up. I do. Now I've said it. Yeah, break them up and stick Enzo <laughs> with Nia Jax. Yeah, it'd be amazing. And I want it to be face Enzo and and heel Nia as well, just to see how the dynamic works even even yeah, more. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So for this, we're both going for Enzo and Cass mm -hmm. um, to win and set up Wrestlemania for the rest of the night um, cool so obviously in the next video we'll be doing the WWE Cruiserweight Championship Neville versus Austin Aries 
And if you want to tune into that, be sure to subscribe and you'll be notified when that goes online. Cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs>